How's it going everyone? It's your boy King and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to be doing something very different to what I usually do. I'm going to be covering the whole Seth the Programmer Clyde issue. I'm sure most of you should be aware of this problem being in the anime community and you know Seth the Programmer is a big YouTuber in this community and just after you know finding out all this mess that came out recently I just thought I would give you know my perspective on this whole issue so if you don't know I'll just sum things up there's another YouTuber called Clyde formerly Clyde the Weeaboo I mean he's worked with Seth for a number of years in that whole little group of you know Seth, Clyde, um, Swag Kage, Six etc and he brought out a video recently just pretty much exposing Seth in terms of how he's treated him and others in recent years and that included a lot of like emotional bullying towards Clyde you know harassing him making fun of his mental state because Clyde did reveal that he went through like a lot of periods of thinking about committing suicide and he actually poked fun of him at that and Clyde also revealed that in the last few years he's been like financially tied to Seth you know relying on Seth um, to like financially support him as Clyde has done a lot of editing for Seth and just supporting him on his YouTube career so he's been financially tied to Seth and Seth has essentially held that over his head and just treated him just awfully I would advise that you you watch the video but that's just the claims towards Clyde but it gets even worse than that you know there's been allegations of Seth sexually harassing girls online some of which were actually minors he's been accused of being a racist you know throwing out the n-word casually and actually you know claiming that he has every right to use the n-word and whoever wants to debate him on that they can debate him and we all we all know that Seth is big into debating he's also been accused of scamming a lot of his fans you know a lot of his fans they contribute a lot of money towards him a lot of donations and there was like a project an anime project he was supposed to work on and I believe he re received around ten thousand pounds and he didn't deliver on the project so he scammed his fans and I mean the list goes on man it's just crazy it's crazy and yeah I just wanted to give my perspective on this as I just been really shocked with what's been revealed you know I've been a follower and a subscriber of Seth for like I don't know over five years I really enjoyed a lot of his content which goes into Dragon Ball, Naruto, um, I don't know Death Note you know, I've watched a lot of these debates where he debated a lot of other YouTubers. You know, he debate, debated um, Quarman, who's another YouTuber that I've watched for years. Um, and he's just debated like random people through like his Discord, etc. And, you know, I always knew that he was a bit of an obnoxious person, a bit of a troll online through watching like his debates and, you know, all these previous debunk videos where he's all getting onto other YouTubers, you know, debunking their content and just, you know, kind of just roasting them a lot. But like, I didn't think it, it was this deep, you know what I'm saying? Like I could still enjoy his content while being detached from that, you know, obnoxious side of his. Like there's one video, for example, I remember his Death Note video where I believe it was titled can Batman solve the Kira case you know Batman versus L and I hadn't even known about Death Note before that video and it was a really good video and that actually got me onto Death Note and now Death Note is one of my favorite animes of all time so you know watching Seth has really been beneficial to me and entertaining but after all of this revelation you know I've just decided to actually unsubscribe from him, no longer watch his content as being a moral person that I am, I just couldn't really, you know, support his channel, support what he's doing after everything that's been revealed. You know, clearly he just has a lot of personal issues, a lot of mental issues which have been revealed that he just really needs to deal with and he just seems like a really snaky person i'm not trying to be judgmental here but we all know all the collaborations he's had with as i mentioned swag kage clyde six 
And then there's all revelations now that he hates all those people. Like, <laughs> I've seen him doing numerous videos with these guys. They've been on Discord doing all their debates, etc., live streams, etc. And now, you know, there's been recordings that came out of him pretty much snaking his friends. Pretty much saying that he hates Six, he hates Swag Kage. You know, a lot of his friendships just fall apart. And he's just clearly not a nice person, man. So, and I've seen that, you know, a lot of these subscribers have been falling down. I mean, like right before this, this revelation came out, he was almost at a million subscribers. And I think now he's just a little under 900,000 subscribers. And I'm not really trying to contribute to his downfall. But personally, I thought I don't want to support his content anymore. I unsubscribe from him. And yeah, I mean, that's it. And... And before, before I forget this, another big revelation <laughs> was that the majority of his videos weren't even constructed by himself. You know, like this guy Clyde revealed that more than 80% of his content was produced by Clyde in the sense of, you know, editing his videos, scripting his videos, doing all the thumbnails, etc. And I understand that for most YouTubers, especially big YouTubers, they can have editors, they can get have people doing their thumbnails. But due to the fact that he doesn't even write the videos himself, he doesn't script them himself. So essentially, he just saying the words, <laughs> you know. So all those big videos that I was, you know, entertained by, enamored by the, the Death Note video, his Naruto videos. Like another standout video was like he's, um, I think it was How Strong Is Minato Really? Or was it Minato versus Orochimaru? You know, I'm a big Naruto fan. And Minato is probably my favorite Naruto character between him and Kakashi. And just thinking all those videos that I really enjoyed, that really touched me, you know, the Death Note video getting me into Death Note, figuring out that essentially those weren't his videos. It was, you know, constructed by other people, mainly Clyde, which is a, a big bombshell to me. So, so yeah, there you have it. I just wanted to give my my take on this whole situation as it's still shocking to me to this day. You know, I watched Clyde's full video i think it was like three hours long <laughs> which surprised me that i actually stuck through it and i watched the keemstar um live stream well i didn't actually watch it live i watched the stream like post when it was um streamed and yeah that was like what six seven hours long <laughs> um and yeah just a lot of revelations coming out but yeah let me know guys what you think of this whole situation you know are you a big seth the programmer fan if you are a fan are you still sticking by him you're gonna still stick to his content watching his content i mean are you of the opinion that he should be cancelled you know i think everybody deserves a second chance everyone deserves you know the chance to be forgiven but from watching that keemstar stream you know, I mean, he stated that a lot of those claims against him was like years ago and that was kind of substantiated. But and saying that, you know, he's he's kind of changed, etc. But from the way he was talking in the stream, he seems like the same old guy, like the same ob obnoxious guy. You know, he was still, you know, dissing his boys or former boys like Swag Kage in the stream. So it doesn't seem like this guy is reformed, man. So for now. I can't watch his content, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about this whole situation and yeah, I'll catch you guys soon.